So, we're on the list again. This list that I made up a while back and I've been meaning to do. And the next thing that I'm going to be doing is pretty much I had you guys vote on body parts. Different kind of body parts and things. Things that I kind of either thought of or things that would be pretty cool in a random generator. I kind of popped up some ideas and some things I even looked at some books that I've kind of got in the back. So, I'm going to pretty much be taking those things that you guys have voted for, all the body parts up to pretty much head, torso, arms, legs, tail, maybe wings if you voted for it, and pretty much even the background, putting all together and trying to make an interesting artwork. Will it be good? Will it be bad? You'll have to find out. It's going to be cool. I don't know if it's going to be great. We're just going to dive right into it right now, and uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. I know I say a lot, but... This one might be tough, this one might be a tough one, so uh, yeah, how about we just stop talking and jump right into it. Okay, so much before we do drawing the voting system, ah yes, the things that you voted for. Well, let me quickly go through it so we know what exactly what I'm going to be kind of drawing. So pretty much the first thing was easy win overall was pretty much the bat won overall for the head, so we're drawing a head of a bat. The next bit was pretty much what arms should I draw. Sloth arms was literally, that was the winner of them all, so we were drawing sloth arms. The next part of course was torso, and it was griller, pretty landslide again. And then we had legs, it was a 50-50 between horse and spider. Gonna have to do a coin toss for that one, so uh, yeah, we'll uh, do a coin toss to see which one that's gonna be. Then there was wings, I don't think people have seen this exactly, but hey, I mean, Oh well, guess we're not drawing wings. And of course the little nice pet as well, as we also have tail as well. 50-50 again. Gotta have the towing cost out as well, of a shark's tail or platypus tail. And pretty much the last thing, the overall background, is pretty much going to be drawing an old forest. Pretty simple. So, let me coin toss the next two here, and I guess we'll find out which ones we're going to be drawing for those. Okay, so, uh, heads for the spider, tails for the horse legs. Alright, heads it is. Spider legs. And for the tail... Let's see. Tails for the platypus, heads for the shark. Tails. Alright, platypus tail it is. So, uh, yeah. Let's go on. Right, now that we have everything that we need, it is now time to put it all together. So, we're going to go and start off with the old forest and have a rough kind of sketch, to a rough layout of what the old forest is going to look. Uh, a big tree in the front, one in the middle, one in the far, and then obviously a big densely forest way in the back. And obviously it's got an old forest, there's probably some old trees broken and some moss and everything else. I had a look and stuff out. I have drawn some old trees in that in my sketchbook, but nothing to drawing an actual whole old forest. So, this will be quite fun to do. I should also mention, as well, is I'm actually playing with the Jazza brush set as well, um, which is going to, which well, I don't know why I'm saying going to, it was fun to play with. Um, there was so much brushes to play with. I was a bit, a bit spoiled for choice, I will admit, it is really cool, I really like this set by the way. Um, I'll probably play it with a bit more and more, I would say, in my off time when I'm not recording. Because I want to try everything. I want to try every single thing. So, you're not going to... I wasn't able to try every single brush, but let's be honest, I'm not going to try every single brush with this kind of thing. But, uh, I look forward to keeping trying and uh, definitely some more things. So, I'll tell you more about it uh, later down the line. But anyway, let's get back to doing this drawing. So, so now that I've got kind of the rough sketch for the creature, rough sketch for the actual overall piece, now time to add some of the colours. To say, I'm going to do some of the background first before I do the actual character. So I decided, right, it's now time I can actually try some of these brushes and like I said, there was a lot to play with. There was quite a lot, some really cool textures, you've got like um, oil paints, uh, there was charcoal, pencil, there was uh, watercolours as well. There's some really cool texture ones as well, some really good ones, and I'm like, this is, yeah, like I said, it's more of a choice. Uh, <laughs> went back and forth with ones with to see which ones kind of looked like and feel and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, it's definitely going to make things really cool. So, um, as I was going over these bits, of the trees, I'm like, right, look at these trees done. 
some of the big ones that you can see and then obviously I have the ones further back but you won't be able to see those as much because it's going to be an old fog as I'm deciding. Let's add also a fog to this as well. I think that's going to make things really cool. Speaking of fog, there was a fog brush as well. Perfect. Well, like the exact thing that I'm going to need because I want a dense kind of fog way in the far back and then a little bit of like some misty bits in the front. You know like when you kind of, you're walking through a fog and you kind of get that misty thing and like the, the steps, like it's really thick, you're walking and you see fog that's there on, on the ground, but then you look further back, the fog's so thick you can't even see anything. So as I was kind of going over this bit, then I was really having fun doing this old fog. This is fun. It was really cool. I was really enjoying this, by the way, this bit. This is the part I was enjoying the most. 100%. I was enjoying playing with these brushes a lot. Maybe a bit too much, but hey, I, I, there we go. I'm enjoying it. I was really enjoying this part, definitely. So as I was going over and adding bits to it, so I went, you know what, okay, I'm playing enough with the background now, let's actually draw the actual creature. This is the part where I start um, doubting drawing this a little bit, I'm going to be honest with you. So I was like, well, maybe it'll come together. I got the rough sketch kind of, and I went, okay, this is, maybe it'll come together once I've done the line work and the rough colour. I will say that... Um, there's definitely some parts that I would say that I'd probably wish I could have maybe done a bit better and all this. Um, but um, there was definitely a few times that I redrew some certain bits and that I wasn't quite happy with them, trying to get the position right and all this. Um, there were some parts that I was quite happy with. I actually quite liked uh, the sloth arms, I thought. Actually, they looked pretty good. I actually quite liked those bits that... Um, I was quite happy with the spider legs. Maybe a little bit with the back of the body wasn't too thing. Maybe because I was trying to figure out how was I going to fix the platypus tail on the back. So I wasn't really quite sure. I mean, how do I attach a tail to a spider body in that? I wasn't even too sure. I was like, look, this is actually really difficult. I wish I got the horse legs. It may have been a little bit easier to add the tail. Um, so pretty much I've, since now that I've got that done of the line work and all this once I've done it I said right let's add some rough colors so I was trying to go through my head should I make a completely new combination or keep the original colors of the characters while also adding maybe kind of an old look and mossiness to the creature so I went with that I pretty much decided that I want to kind of show that these almost individual parts of the creature and all this this is what I'd wrote down by the way I'd wrote down on the notes that keep the individual colours and all this, so I'm like, okay, I'll go with this idea, don't know if it's the best idea, but hey, I wrote it well, I'm sticking to this, we'll see if this is a good idea, if it's not, oh well, you got to live and learn somehow. <laughs> so as I was doing this, um, adding the shading, the colour to this, um, like I said, I wanted to add some of the green tinge of that to the sloth arms, because one of the cool things I've noticed about sloths is they move really slow. And because of that, they got a lot of moss and stuff like that. I went, well, this would be kind of a creature that would be... It wouldn't move as slow as a sloth. No, definitely not. It's got the spider legs move quite fast, I would imagine. Um, but it would probably sleep a lot during the day. And maybe only active a few times during the night. So, you can imagine probably some stuff is growing on him and stuff out on his back. And, you know, that kind of thing. So as I was continuing working on this, um, I will admit there's definitely some bits that I was kind of going back to try to get the textures right. And I was obviously playing with some of the brushes. I love the brushes. I think they were really cool. This is definitely a challenge putting these pieces together. Um, I've never made machines work, but trying to get something that's organic to work, completely different story. And <laughs> it's a completely different story. So it really is. I think if I'm going to be honest, I was enjoying drawing the forest more than drawing the actual creature. <laughs> So um, I decided I'm going to take a break from doing the creature and walk on the background a little bit more. So, what do I feel about this overall piece? Well, I mean... I will admit there's definitely some parts that it wasn't looking too great. There's definitely the ugly phase of going through it. What do I think about the actual finished piece? 
There were some bits that I will admit in the recording aren't there. I did fix up, I did touch a little bit, but uh, I think overall it's not bad. I think I could do better, but um, overall this is what I feel like was better. I did touch up a few little bits to try and make it a little bit better, but um, I don't know. What do you guys think of it? Actually, you haven't even seen it yet, that's the question. So uh, here it is. So there you are, the strange creature creation that we have made thanks to your votes on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for voting on the polls, really appreciate it, it was definitely an interesting challenge. I think there's going to be some bits maybe I could have done a little bit better, I don't know, but um, I feel this is, this is how it's turned out. <laughs> But hey, anyway, they can't all be winners, they can't all be amazing, can't all be fantastic. Nothing ever goes exactly how you plan it, but uh, I think this turned out okay. In the end, I think it's alright. But uh, maybe I'll come back to it one day, maybe I'll do something a little better with it. Maybe I'll actually make it much more creepier. I think like, that's the bit I need to work on a little bit more. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. I think we're fine, this is foolish. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later, and uh, take care.